I want to understand the difference between static friction and kinetic friction. Take a look at this video and you'll find out. Very interesting. Look at this amazing video. Two pieces were forced to move against each other, which created friction. This friction transforms mechanical energy into heat. In this case, the heat was so intense that it made the pieces melt, which promoted welding between them. Very interesting. In this video, we show you what you should not do at home. The future Ghost Rider sprays some kind of aerosol into a bottle and seals it with a party balloon to ensure the vapor doesn't escape. Next, he installs a spark plug into the bottle and, thinking of his safety, uses a helmet with a visor before pressing the button and, voila, a beautiful adiabatic expansion happens. Don't try this at home, okay? Is a modern car more fragile than an old car or more resistant? The video below shows collisions between old cars and modern cars, analyzing to what extent the destructive power of these collisions affects the safety of the occupants. You will notice that modern cars are indeed more deformable in some areas, but at the same time, they maintain almost the entire integrity of the cabin where the passengers are. The device shown in this video is a battery with magnets attached to its poles. This battery is placed inside a solenoid made of uninsulated wire. When the circuit is closed, it generates a magnetic field that propels the battery through the solenoid, creating the magnetic train effect you see here. Pretty cool, right? 